Yo, what is going on guys? Time Stopper here, coming back at you another Raid Shadow Legends video. Guys, in this video, we are going to be pulling some shards for Vishak Vermin Lord. I don't know how to say this guy's name. We're just going to call him the Rat King from now on out. So, let's jump into the video. Okay, guys, so first and foremost, it, today we're going to be pulling some shards for my shards that I need to do for the Rat King Fusion. So let's first take a look here at the uh, Fusion thing and see what we need to do. So where we're at in the Fusion, oh, let me get myself out of the way here real quick. So this is my Fusion calendar, which, of course, I'll leave a link to in the video description down below. You guys are welcome to access this at any time. I've been keeping this updated since, let's go, looks like since the Astralon Fusion, uh, the beginning of 2021. And I've got all the old Fusions on here. You can go back and take a look at, you know, where we got fragments from, the dates they were on, how many points it took, what was going on on individual Fusions, got pictures of the champs and all that stuff. But that's not, that's neither here nor there. I'll leave a link to it in the description down below. If you guys want to go take a look at it, see all the old stuff, you certainly can. But right now, we have the Rat King. Yeah, the Rat King, because I'm not even trying to mess with this name. This fusion going on. So we have to pull. I've waited till the last day here, just kind of hemming and hauling over what I wanted to do. So we're on the 18th right now. So if I click on that right there, you can see where we're at. We need to pull in this summon rush. At 2150, we have our Risk Harm. And then we get an Endalia at 49.25 points. So let's take a look over here what that means for us. And, oh, there we go. Let's see what that means for us over here. So basically, if we look at the details of the Summon Rush, that means that in order to do this, this is based off of what shard we pull. So we get 500 points for a Sacred, 120 for a Void, 20 for an Ancient, or 1 point for a Mystery Shard. So at a minimum, we have to get up to this Risk Arm because to do this fusion, you have to get all 16 rares at a minimum. If we want to get an extra copy of the Epic or maybe if we just want to be able to skip some events or whatnot, we can go up here to the 4925 and get the Endalia. Now, I'll be honest, normally I would go get this and just keep a copy of it because I just make sure that I have all the copies. But lately I've been thinking I want to kind of work on saving some shards. I got to a point where I was pretty low on everything, and I I, I wanted to end up buying shards for an event or something, and I, I hate buying shards. So rather than do that, I think I'm just going to go the cheap route this time. I'm just going to pull enough shards to get this risk arm here. Now we can do that a couple different ways. So I have 28, let me see if I can bring it up. I got 28 sacred shards right now, 24 void, 109 Ancients. Now, Ancients would take forever to do this. Voids are okay, but we are coming up to a 2x Void weekend and next weekend. And Sacreds are going to kind of give me my biggest bang for my buck. Now, we do have a 10x going on right now where you can pick up uh, behind me there. I don't, I, again, I, you can't see it, but Shagor is on there on the 10x. There we go. Shagor is on the 10x as a Void champion. And while he's decent for the Sand Devils dungeon, I don't really need him. I'm running Sand Devils 24 with the duo team, with the Ninja and the God Seeker Aniri build. So I don't really need him for that. Noct would be pretty dope to get. Gaius, I mean, who cares really? And then all these champs down here, like these epics, these aren't anything that I really need. Obviously pretty decent epics overall, but they are all sleep champions. So... Ultimately, I'd like to get knocked because I don't have him yet. I mean, I have two Kaimars. Can you ever have enough? No, but do I really want to get another one? Probably not. If anything, Gaius would help fill out a Faction Guardian slot for me. Has it really come to that? I think it probably has. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop four Sacreds here just to get my shards in for the points that I need, and I'm just going to finish it out with Mystery Shards. We have a champ training event going on. If you go over here... There's a champ training event going on right now as well. So in order to get these, I'm going to end up having to pull some mystery shards anyway for food. So I think that probably makes the most sense. Heck, to be honest with you, it probably makes the most sense to only do three um, sacreds. But I am on a fresh mercy too, by the way. If we go and pull up, let's see. 
if we pull up my shard tracker over here, I am on a fresh mercy right now. You can see that I'm at zero. It took me 13 shards to get this hawkhorn. Good lord. And then, you know, you can see where I'm at on these other ones. So I'm on a fresh mercy. I don't expect a whole lot here. I think, and then what I'm going to do is I've been holding off on pulling some soul stones. So I'll pull some soul stones here at the end, but enough with the ranting and blah, blah, blah. So let's go ahead. Let's hop in here. Let's grab up four sacreds. See how far four sacreds get us and kind of go from there. So hopefully we get something good. There's a lot of champs that I need still. I'm not expecting much. Hey, we got Cornelia. She is on the 10X. She can do a lot of work in the Doom Tower. I don't know if you've seen some of YST's videos. He's got a bunch of different stuff uh, with Cornelia. I was working on building her because I was worried that I was going to need her for the Sand Devil. Come to find out, I really don't, but solid champion nonetheless. Anyway, let's get back into here. Champion number two is Aluria. Okay, solid champion. Not someone that I really need. Not even one of the epics that I'm missing. I'm missing about 24 different epics at this point because they keep adding new champions, and I can't seem to pull them no matter what I do. So, Virgis, super solid champion. Has some use in some solo strats for the Scarab King if you don't have your roster or anything like that. But solid champion for sure. And last but not least, last Sacred Shard. Give me, come on, Plarion, give me something good. Boom, Lego. Ah. Okay, Arndolf. Don't know much about this guy, quite honestly. I have one already. Got a pretty solid looking shield. What's on his skill kit? Uh, attacks one enemy, 20 super low chance to provoke. AoE, weaken for two turns. Okay. Regular fear. Uh, eh. And then we've got this reflect damage counterattack. Not the best champion in the world, obviously. So we got our four shards in there. This, If we go over here to the summon rush, yeah, we got almost all the way up there, it looks like. So, you know, let's go ahead and grab this stuff up. I'll save the energy for later. Almost got up there, but... We'll get the rest with mystery shards. 2150, that's only like 100 or so mystery shards. We'll get those no problem. I'll just pull some real quick uh, for the champ training. I don't know if I have enough room, but we will. Anyway, let's go ahead and pull up these soul stones. So on the wish list right now, we've got Arbiter, my favorite nuker, Foley. We've got Duchess on there. Of course, Seer. We've got Husk and Geo on there for our Hydra. And then we did the Cold Heart and Pain Keeper, so... Hopefully we can get something good here, man. It's been a while since I got anything decent from these, so hopefully we get something good. We'll pull the single, then we'll do a couple 10 pops here and maybe get something good out of it. Uh, not really what we're looking for. Obviously, the chance on these is pretty low. Um, where's the chances at? So we're just pulling the Mortal Soul Stone, so 66% chance to get a rare, 28% chance for an epic, 6% chance for a legendary. I'm not expecting a whole lot here, but... Anyway, let's go ahead and pop the next 10 here, see where we're at. Nothing good so far. All rare. Rare city. Okay. We've got a Fearmonger. Not really any good. Now we've got a 5-star Dolar and a 5-star Templar. I mean, these guys are just going to get sold, ultimately. War Maiden. I use in some Doom Tower Secret Rooms, but I think I already have a better version of her. And then Sentinel, I use in some Doom Tower Secret Rooms as well. But again, I think I already have a higher one of those, so nothing in that 10 pop. Man, we're so close to another stone up there. Let's get another 10 pop here. Hopefully we can get something good in the second 10 pop. Man, we got to see some gold here. Where is the gold? Okay, there's some gold. Give me it. Oh. Well... We got a 4-star Dale Gold. Unfortunately, I've already pulled a 5-star. Death Chanter, no good. My heavy sigh for this Necrit is honestly because if we go over here to my Soul Collection, I now have two Necrit Souls. You can see that my luck has not been great. I've got a lot of Souls up here for champions that are legendary that I just flat out don't even have. But guys, that's about all I have for today. Sorry we couldn't get a ton of gold for you. Maybe on the next pool. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video, and of course, as always, until next time, be good.